Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this particular video, we will talk about hypothesis testing. Yes, the most awaited video of stats playlist. I think until so far in our playlist of stats, we have talked about starting from very bas basic where we have discussed about sample population to the advanced concepts where we have talked about what is a confidence interval. Now I think it's the right time that we should discuss about hypothesis testing first. And then in the upcoming videos, I will talk about some numerical things. Okay, so let's get started with this particular concept. Whenever we talk about the concept of hypothesis testing, the simple meaning is here we are making some assumptions. I hope you all remember what we're supposed to do whenever we are doing some experiments with, with respect to some sample. We took a subset of the population that we have, we, do, we did some experiment, we got some conclusion and the conclusion that we got from the sample data, the same conclusion we usually apply for the population data as well. This is the real thing that we usually do in stats, right? In, in doing any of the project in data science. Now, whenever we're talking about hypothesis, it is basically composed of two parts. Either we are dealing with null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis. Here, our real target is to refuse a specific claim about the population parameter, which is based on the sample data. So what I'm saying here, so basically let me open the PDF now. Whenever I'm talking about hypothesis testing, now I hope you all know that what usually happens is that we have a sample data, right? What is sample? Sample is nothing but is a subset of a population data. Suppose I did a lot of experimental stuff here. Experiments happened here. On the basis of those experiments, we got some conclusions. We got some conclusions. Now, what usually happens is that on the basis of these conclusions, we make a conclusion for the population data, right? This is what usually happens. We made the conclusions for the population data. Now here, what I'm saying is in hypothesis testing, we usually have two hypotheses. One is called as null hypothesis, which we represent by H0. One is something which we called as alternate hypothesis, which we usually represented as HA. Now, this null hypothesis is something where we are doubtful. The condition that is really doubtful. Okay. That is really doubtful. And alternate hypothesis is something where we certainly believe. The condition where we certainly believe that this is something which will happen. Now, this is about the hypothesis which we usually make in any of the situation, in any of the circumstances. Now, in this hypothesis, when we are having a null and the alternate one, what is our real target in this particular testing part? Our real target is to come up with some, you know, experiment, some proof where we will be able to refute this particular null hypothesis. We really want to get some idea, some experiment, some proof where I will be able to reject this null hypothesis. So there can be two things which will happen in the experiment. The Either you will be able to reject the null hypothesis, reject the H note, or you will be fail to reject this null hypothesis. These two things will happen always whenever you are doing the experiments. So whenever I am talking about this situation, so if I will go back to the presentation, I, hypothesis testing usually stated as conditions that is doubted, null, conditions that we believe in, alternate. So what is the example of that? Let me try to give that. For example, if I am saying heart attack has no link with drinking coffee. This is something where I am doubtful. This is a doubtful statement. Whether we will be having a linkage between the heart attack and the drinking coffee or there is no linkage. So another hypothesis, hypothesis says that there is no linkage between the heart attack and the drinking coffee. Alternate is, what's the belief, what's the statement, what's the belief system that we usually follow? That drinking coffee increases the chances of a heart attack. So, what is our real target? We will try to do the experiments in such a way that either we will be able to reject this null hypothesis or we fail to reject that. So, here, this is the important note. 
to reject null hypothesis is to conclude that this is something which is a false statement means we will be able to reject that statement when i'm saying that i am accepting the null hypothesis it does not mean that it is true so you always feel you always see that in standard books it's ne never ever mentioned that we are accepting the null hypothesis either we say that we reject that or we say that we fail to reject it we fail to reject it means we do not have enough evidence to believe otherwise that is the real meaning of having a failing of rejection of this null hypothesis so you always see that you know to reject null hypothesis is very simple task for example if you will come out with some single proof which is something contradictory to alternate one you can simply say that i will be able to reject that but if suppose you don't have any evidence you don't have any uh, you know proof of that so how will you reject that in that situation you will say that you will fail to reject it okay this is something which is very vastly asked in interviews about the type 1 and type 2 error with respect to the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis i hope that you already have you know watched my previous videos with respect to the machine learning where i have talked about the confusion matrix if you haven't watched it yet i will attach the link in the description of this video this is something which is very similar to the confusion matrix here we are talking in terms of hypothesis there we are talking in terms of actual data and, and the predicted data what is the meaning of type 1 and type 2 error let's try to understand this with the 100% attention please try to watch this video till the very end then only you will be able to get the concept of this hypothesis test testing otherwise you will fail to get that there are so many students who really get confused about this concept and i really want to deliver it in a 100% manner so here when i am talking about type 1 error what does that all about see either my null hypothesis is true or it is false there are two situations that can come either it will be true or it will be false now after doing the experiment i will be either able to reject that null hypothesis or i will be fail to reject that right so this is the outcome which i am talking about on the left hand side on vertical side and horizontal ways what i am saying is either my null hypothesis is true or it is false right either the null hypothesis is true or it is false now if suppose your null hypothesis is true okay whatsoever hypothesis you have mentioned is true but you still reject that but you still reject that is this a error try to understand this thing so what i am saying is i am saying that we have two situations situation number 1 where i am saying that this null hypothesis is actually true so whatsoever hypothesis you have mentioned is actually true this is the situation number 1 situation number 2 is where we are saying that this null hypothesis is actually false this is actually false make sense now what is the output either we reject either we reject this null hypothesis or what i i have told you we will we will not say accept we will say fail to reject that null hypothesis because we don't have enough evidences now do remember that i am representing the null hypothesis and this is what we usually do in standard books as well with h not and i am representing the alternate hypothesis with something called as h a okay so this is something that we have is null this is something that we have is alternate now what i'm saying is that i'm saying one simple thing try to understand if suppose the null hypothesis that we have mentioned is true it is actually true it is actually true this is the actual scenario right and this is the predicted scenario after the experiment what we will be able to get suppose actually my null hypo hypothesis is true but i still reject that is this an error yes this is an error and this error is something which we called as type 1 error which is also represented by alpha now see this situation second situation i am saying actually my null hypothesis is false actually whatsoever you know doubtful thing i have i am making some assumption on that it is false and i reject that this is good situation good situ situation right what i am saying actually it is false and i am rejecting that so this is something which is a correct situation 
it's a good thing right it's a good thing correct this is something which is too negative in confusion matrix terms right now see see the situation i am saying null hypothesis is true null hypothesis is true actually and i fail to reject that again a good situation right it's a correct situation are right. if null hypothesis is correct the hypothesis that i am mentioning is true so outcome should also be like that no why we will reject that we should fail to reject that and that's where i am saying it is correct right now second situation can come where i am saying that null hypothesis is false theek hai and i fail to reject that it is false it is not true still i am failing to reject that it means this is an error which we are calling it as type 2 error which we are representing by beta which we are representing by beta so yahan par humne kya samjha ki do tarike ke errors hame milenge ek hoga type 1 error theek hai jisko hum alpha se represent karenge ek hoga type 2 error jisko hum beta se represent karenge टाइप वन एरर का मतलब क्या है कि मेरा नल हाइपोथेसिस तो सत्य है ट्रू है लेकिन फिर भी मैं उसे रिजेक्ट कर रही हूं तो ये तो एक एरर है ना ये तो एक यू नो गलत चीज हो गई राइट इट्स समथिंग विच इज फॉल्स विच इज फॉल्स नेगेटिव राइट अब यहां पर अगर हम सेकंड सिचुएशन को देखें यहां पे क्या हो रहा है कि यहां पर मेरा नल हाइपोथिस गलत है फिर भी मैं उसे रिजेक्ट नहीं कर पा रही फिर भी मैं, मेरे पास ऐसा एविडेंस नहीं है जो कि प्रूव करे कि यह गलत है तो फिर से ये एक एरर जनरेट कर रहा है राइट दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच वी कॉल्ड एज टाइप टू एरर ठीक है नाउ इस अल्फा को हम एक और टर्म से भी जानते हैं दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच वी कॉल्ड एज लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस एंड व्हाट वी रियली वांट इन एनी एक्सपेरिमेंट वी रियली वांट दिस अल्फा एंड बीटा टू बी वेरी वेरी लो राइट बिकॉज ये क्या है ये एरर है तो हम क्या चाहते हैं कि ये दोनों एरर जो है वो बहुत मिनिमल हो हमेशा हमारा मेजर फोकस जो होता है वो अल्फा को कम करने पे होता है और ऐसा क्यों है आई विल शो यू द सिनारियोज राइट बट आई होप दट अंटिल सो फार वट एवर थिंग्स आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इज प्रिटी मच क्लियर टू एवरी वन सो वट वी हैव सो फार सबसे पहले हमने देखा हाइपोथिस टेस्टिंग क्या होता है वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट देर आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स दैट वी हैव नल एंड ऑल्टरनेट नल इज डाउटफुल सिचुएशन डाउटफुल कंडीशन ऑल्टरनेट इज बिलीवेबल सिचुएशन बिलीवेबल कंडीशन आफ्टर दैट हमने देखा कि एज अ आउटपुट एज अ यू नो आउटपुट या तो हम किसी सिचुएशन में रिजेक्ट करेंगे नल हाइपोथिस को या फिर हम फेल हो जाएंगे हम कभी भी ऐसा नहीं बोलेंगे कि आई विल आई एम एक्सेप्टिंग द नल हाइपोथिस ठीक है उसके बाद वी हैव टॉक अबाउट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू एर वट इंटरव्यू कैन टॉक अबाउट इज they can give you the scenario based questions and they will ask you the question with respect to the type 1 and type 2 error so this is one of the very vastly asked interview question now moving ahead moving ahead to the next important part main is cheez ko whatever i have talked about in type 1 and type 2 error i want to explain this thing with the help of an example so that you will be able to get an idea what i really want to talk about here so let me go back to the presentation here same thing is mentioned right null hypothesis is true but still i reject that null hypothesis this is something which i am calling it as type 1 error theek okay? hai false positive when i am saying null hypothesis is false but i still fail to reject that this is something which is type 2 error and these two situations are something which is a correct situation theek okay? hai तो टाइप वन क्या होता है टाइप टू क्या होता है इसको हमें फोकस रखना है बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑलरेडी जिन्होंने जिन्होंने कंफ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स का कॉन्सेप्ट समझ लिया होगा इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग पार्ट दे विल बी इजिली एबल टू गेट द आइडिया विच आई एम ट्राइंग टू क्लैरिफाई हेयर बट स्टिल दो आर फेसिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्रबल प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ द कंफ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स एंड देन यू नो टेक दिस वीडियो अगेन ओके लेट्स गो to the next part of the video where i'll talk about the example so that you will be able to understand what i really want to state here with respect to type 1 and type 2 error the inspector has to choose between certifying a building as safe or saying that building is not safe to inspector aate hain unko ye batana hai certify karna hai ki jo building khadi hui hai ye safe hai ki nahi hai ab 
दो सिचुएशन हो सकती है या तो बिल्डिंग सेफ होगी या फिर नहीं होगी बिल्डिंग सेफ होगी ये मेरा बिलीव है इसको मैंने ऑल्टरनेट हाइपोथिस मान लिया बिल्डिंग सेफ नहीं होगी दिस इज समथिंग विच इज डाउटफुल आई हैव डिक्लेयर्ड एज नल हाइपोथिस एच नोट अब मैं बोलू आपको बताओ इसमें टाइप वन एरर क्या होगा वॉट इज टाइप वन एरर इन दिस तो क्या बोलोगे आप लोग टाइप वन का मतलब क्या हुआ टाइप वन का मतलब ये है कि नल हाइपोथिस ट्रू है बट फिर भी मैं उसे क्या कर रही हूं रिजेक्ट कर रही हूं नल हाइपोथिस ट्रू है इसका मतलब क्या है इसका मतलब ये है इस, इस एग्जाम्पल के अकॉर्डिंग टाइप वन एरर इज कमिटेड इफ वी रिजेक्ट नल हाइपोथिस इफ वी रिजेक्ट नल हाइपोथिस वट इज नल हाइपोथिस इफ वी रिजेक्ट बिल्डिंग इज नॉट सेफ वेन एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट सेफ वॉट इज द मीनिंग When actually null hypothesis is true, what is null null hypothesis? Building is not safe. तो मैं क्या बोल रही हूं मैं क्या कह रही हूं मैं एक्सपेरिमेंट में ये बोल रही हूं मैं रिजेक्ट कर रही हूं कि बिल्डिंग सेफ नहीं है जबकि बिल्डिंग एक्चुअली में सेफ नहीं है जबकि बिल्डिंग एक्चुअली में सेफ नहीं है इफ यू विल ट्राई टू कंसिडर द स्टेटमेंट अगेन एंड अगेन जस्ट ट्राई टू लिसन दिस वट आई एम सींग हेयर यू विल फील दट इट्स अ बिगेस्ट रिस्क मतलब कि एक बिल्डिंग जिसमें लोग रह रहे हैं जिसमें बहुत सारे लोग काम कर रहे हैं या फिर मे बी फ्लैट है वो एक्चुअली बिल्डिंग सेफ नहीं है पर मैं एक्सपेरिमेंटली डिक्लेयर कर रही हूं कि ये बिल्डिंग सेफ नहीं रिजेक्ट कर रही हूं स्टेटमेंट को राइट इन अ वे मैं ये बोल रही हूं बिल्डिंग सेफ है जो कि गलत है एक्चुअली में सपोज वहां पर कोई यू नो एनवायरमेंटल ट्रेजिडी होने वाली है बट मैं ये क्या बोल रही हूं भूकंप आने वाला है सपोज बट मैं क्या बोल रही हूँ बिल्डिंग सेफ नहीं है ये स्टेटमेंट गलत है मैं रिजेक्ट कर रही हूं उसको दिस इज समथिंग विच वी आर कॉलिंग इज एल्फा लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस और ये एक बहुत बड़ी चीज है इसको मुझे इस रिस्क को इस एल्फा वैल्यू को मुझे बहुत लो करना पड़ेगा ताकि ये सिचुएशन बहुत रेयरली एग्जिस्ट करे सिमिलरली अगर मैं बोलू टाइप टू एयर क्या होगा इस सिचुएशन में टाइप टू एयर का मतलब क्या हुआ नल हाइपोथिस फॉल्स है मतलब कि बिल्डिंग जो है वो सेफ नहीं है ये मैं फेल कर रही हूँ रिजेक्ट करना जबकि वो एक्चुअली सेफ है देखो नल हाइपोथेसिस फॉल्स होने का मतलब क्या है कि बिल्डिंग सेफ है बिल्डिंग सेफ है तो मैं क्या कह रही हूं टाइप टू एर इज कमिटेड इफ वी फेल टू रिजेक्ट इफ वी फेल टू रिजेक्ट नल हाइपोथेसिस इफ वी फेल टू रिजेक्ट दैट बिल्डिंग इज नॉट सेफ व्हेन एक्चुअली इट इज सेफ अब मुझे एक बात बताओ एल्फा स्ट्रॉन्ग हुआ या बीटा स्ट्रॉन्ग हुआ एल्फा पे ज्यादा फोकस करना चाहिए बीटा पे आई थिंक एवरी विल एग्री टू दिस पॉइंट दैट एल्फा इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू कंसिडर हियर क्योंकि वी कॉन्ट टेक द रिस्क ऑफ द लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल हु आर स्टेइंग इन द बिल्डिंग राइट दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एल्फा विच इज द लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस हाउ वी विल बी एबल टू फोकस ऑन दैट पॉइंट देयर कम्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पी वैल्यू विच आई विल टॉक अबाउट इन द नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग वीडियो एंड दैट वुड बी द लास्ट वीडियो मे बी इन द स्टार्ट प्ले लिस्ट बिकॉज नाउ आई थिंक आई हैव कवर्ड अप सो मेनी आस्पेक्ट विच आर एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस डेटा साइंस प्रोजेक्ट and few concepts are still pending which i will you know try to complete within this particular month so that our complete stats playlist will be completely ready so in the next video i will talk about the connection now between the level of significance such as alpha and the p value which i will talk about in the upcoming video and then we will try to solve one numerical problem where the concept of this alpha hypothesis testing p value and the correlation you know uh, coefficient uh, confidence interval all those concepts are interlinked and we will try to get all these things connected to each other right but until so far if you are good with the if you have a good clarity over the concepts point then you will be easily able to understand the numerical part as well and the conceptual part as well okay so with this let's end this video so what we have covered up in this video if you will remember we have started with what is hypothesis testing we have seen that it is something where our major focus is to reject the null hypothesis right this is the real focus now what is the null, hy null hypothesis the hypothesis or the condition where we doubt what is alternate where we believe after that we have seen one example after that we have discussed one of the most important point that either in a in a hypothesis testing we reject the null hypothesis as an outcome or we fail to reject that so we always deal with that h note we always deal with that null hypothesis after that we have discussed a very crucial part with respect to the interviews as well that what is type 1 and type 2 error with respect to this particular point i have discussed one example where 
I think you will be able to get a better clarity over the concept of type 1 and type 2 error. And this is something which I really want to talk about in this session. In the upcoming part of the video, as we know now what is the real meaning of the alpha, what is the real meaning of type 1 error, what is the real meaning of, you know, significance level. So I will talk about the p-value and then we will solve some numerical problems where we will try to connect all these dots that we have talked about in the sessions of stats playlist. With this, happy learning to all. Bye-bye everyone. I will see you all in my next upcoming video where we will talk about p-value. Till then, keep sharing this video with everyone. Uh, do subscribe to my channel, do hit like button and I hope that you guys will be able to get the clarity over the concepts that we have covered up with respect to the stats for data science. Bye-bye everyone. Happy learning to all.